Welcome to this podcast, Grace for All, produced by members of First United Methodist Church in Maryville, Tennessee. It is our hope that these brief daily devotions will bring you comfort and peace. Thank you for listening. The scripture for today's devotion comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 48, and I'll be reading from the New International Version. This is a very short verse, but a great one to memorize. It simply says, Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. Let me say that one more time. Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. Let me just start today by saying I can easily understand that God is perfect, and I have the same conviction that I am not. For that reason, it has always intrigued me when a favorite Sunday school teacher likes to dismiss with the words, go forth and be perfect. It tends to make me laugh because I know I'm not perfect. In fact, clearly a long way from it. If you want to see perfect or something close to it, watch the Olympics. But even in that environment of the world's best trained athletes, it is still a rare occasion when someone achieves a perfect score. Jesus set a standard for perfection, which seems to make it obvious how far below the standard I fall. In my view, and left to my own devices, I will never achieve perfection. It just does not seem possible. Then I came across a verse In the Gospel of Luke, chapter 18, verse 27, which says, Jesus replied, What is impossible with man is possible with God. Does God really expect me to be perfect? Let's be honest. God knows better than anyone what a challenge that will be. The answer is actually yes. With God, I can be perfect. Now, my life on earth will not achieve a perfect standard, but I can be on a path towards perfection, constantly evaluating how I show God's love to those around me. And then ultimately, as Christians, we believe that as we stand before God, if we have accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we will be washed clean of our sins and be presented as perfect. If the perfect God tells me that is what will happen, then I can have the assurance that I am on the path to perfection. Will you pray with me today? Father God, you not only are the source of our hope, but you also give us the assurance that with a relationship in Jesus Christ and his sacrifice for my sins, I can stand before you beautifully perfect. I pray that if you're not a part of a faith community, that you would consider seeking out a church, knowing that it will not be filled with perfect people, but with people who are on the path to perfection. Amen. Today's message was written and presented by Owen Ragland. Thank you for joining us for today's podcast. I'm Rev. Sarah Slack, Associate Pastor at First United Methodist Church in Maryville, Tennessee. Our church is a vital, vibrant congregation, sharing the love of Jesus Christ to our community and to God's world. This podcast was written and produced by the people of our congregation. To know more about this ministry or other ministries of our church, please visit our website at firstchurch.org. That's the number one, S-T, church.org. Join us again for the next episode. And until then, bear witness to the love of God in this world so that those to whom love is a stranger will find in you most generous friends.